All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new zombies video. In today's video, we are getting started with the spooky season, and we are going to be playing Cold War Zombies, which I actually find to be quite underrated, but we're on Cold War because they actually brought back the Halloween event from last year, which if any of you played Cold War last year during the Halloween event, you know how cool and how fun that was. Basically, all the zombies got pumpkins on their heads. I believe they even drop pumpkins that you can open up for some goodies. Anyways, we're going to be doing two things in today's video. We're going to be starting off by just playing some Forsaken, which is the final DLC map of Cold War, just because I feel like it it's probably the most Halloween-feeling map. And then we're going to end off the video by playing the Halloween Outbreak mode. So just going to be some chill Cold War Zombies action with the Halloween event going on. So hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, here we go. Got the new Halloween soundtrack kicking in. We're also using our little skeleton lord looking Halloween outfit and as well we're using some Halloween guns. Yeah, as you can see, pumpkin heads on the zombies, but we're going to activate this little thing that is cool on Cold War, which basically makes all the zombies go super fast and speeds things up. But yeah, Forsaken, pretty uh, fun map in my opinion. It's got some neat things to it. Okay, we got to be careful because these boys can go hard in the paint. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to get up here and get good because I forgot how intense this can actually be. Alright, you know what? We're going for the nuke. We're picking up some armor. Uh, I need to get out of here as fast as possible because I genuinely forgot how insane this can be. Alright, activate teleporter. 13 seconds. Come on, baby. I'm throwing a stun. Get out of here, boys. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm 100% dead. Okay, well, whatever. It's Cold War. We have self-revives. Not a big deal. Gotta love the OP ring in Cold War. Okay, we got a pumpkin on the ground, so if we pick these up, we can get pretty good loot. Notice how I'm already at round 7, by the way. That spawn room is absolutely insane, but we're picking up Jug immediately. We got them OP Cold War perks, so, uh, holy crap. We're grabbing stamina up, too. I gotta remember where everything is on this map. At least we got some defense. I'd like to get the Wonder Weapon on this map, the Crystal Axe. That crap is so busted. Man, I'm gonna end up needing a better weapon. This little starting bullfrog is not gonna cut it. Actually, I do think I have the Bowie Knife built in, yeah. Got that from getting the crystal upgrades, wow. which is a feature that I really liked about Cold War. It added a grind to, to the game that really was nice. Ooh, a max is up there. I need to get that. Come on, baby. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, we got another pumpkin we can open. Take that. All right, so now we're at a green bullfrog since Cold War has the weapon rarities. We can get some extra armor, too. But yeah, I guess some people would probably would have preferred me to play Mauer since that map is, you know, like, at night and in the city streets. Wait a minute. Freaking Burger Town? Oh, jeez. All right. I forgot that Burger Town was in this map. Oh, my God. What perfect timing, considering we just played Infection. Oh, baby. Got Doritos as well. Let's go. All right, so now we got to go find some, some crap. Oh, my God. We got the burgers. Literally... Burger Town Easter Egg again. Let's do it. Okay, there's that. Plus, we have the arcade stuff in this map, which is really cool. And uh, I'm not going to worry about doing the Easter Egg or anything, because frankly, I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> I know it's pretty simple, but I just I don't know how to do it. Maybe one day I'll get around to doing the uh, Cold War Easter Eggs. I mean, obviously, I'll do them in the Revisiting series, but maybe we'll do it before then, since that's going to be a while from now. Don't we have a Halloween, like, pumpkin? Yeah, we do. We got a pumpkin, uh, emote. Jack-o'-lantern. Throw some candy out for the boys. Come here, zombies. You want some candy? All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get over here. I know we're going to be fighting the big pupper boy. All right, come on out, dog. Jeez, the hand cannon absolutely slaughters him. 
There we go. Get out of here, boy. Did he drop anything? Yeah, he dropped something. All right. Okay, now we're in this place. Activate that. Boom. Got the old PhD perk machine right there. I love that. Okay, so we have the challenge station. That's probably what I'm going to do to get the wonder weapon. I'll be honest. I don't even remember how to actually get the wonder weapon like normally. But we'll just do the challenge station. So initiate trial. Remain inside location as long as possible. Dude, that looks like it's... Oh, okay. That's over here. We'll just chill in here for a minute. Oh crap, I killed both. Why did I kill both that fast? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, can we actually stay in here for 25 seconds longer without getting absolutely obliterated? Ah, uh, we're popping ring. Get out of here, you little pumpkin rats. Got our little uh, wonder fizz or whatever so we can get our perks. Let me, what do I even want? Ow. Bro, get out of my way, please. I gotta remember, I can't throw a nade and make this guy a crawler because the nades in Cold War are insane. I guess I'll go quick revive for defense. And also to be able to pick myself back up if I go down. Because, man, these Cold War perks, they are so overpowered. Kill any zombies in location. Okay, well, let me get my booty over here. Alright, this could get ugly. It really could. Oh, I think I just got an arcade token, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, we got a reward upgrade. I'm not going to pick up that nuke. So we'll probably do like uh, one more challenge and then get the legendary tier and hopefully get the wonder weapon. Right. Okay, yes, yeah, so here's the arcade. I almost forgot about it. So yeah, there's some cool uh, like games you can play in the arcade, which is really fun. I'm actually going to go for the World at War Nocturne Toten game first, which is so cool. I, I love the arcade and this map. It was such a cool feature. Here we go. Classic zombies gaming. We got two and a half minutes and we'll try to basically get as many kills as we can and get a big fat chest. Plus with the pumpkins and the fact that it's OG knocked, it's like perfect for this video. Oh yeah, I forgot the knife does literally nothing in this arcade game. Boom, first reward. There we go. Some salvage, which actually I probably need to start spending that. Okay, we got the second one. I believe this gives us, uh, yeah, M14 or DMR14, whatever. I could not remember. Oh, we got a pumpkin drop in here. Nice. Get some more armor. Bronze chalice. I mean, I'd love to pick that up if I had my gun, but I don't. I don't know, whatever. We'll, we'll just pop that. We got a papped DMR-14 now. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple other games in here. We have a Durizen Drac one, which is really cool. And I don't really have a round goal. I'll probably just play to like, I don't know, 20 something in the next fill. Because that's something I really love about Cold War is the X fill. It's so nice actually like being able to end the game without just like killing yourself. <laughs> Vanguard's X feels so lame in comparison. It's literally just teleport out of the map where it's cold where you get a chopper extract. God, Vanguard is such a disaster. What a downgrade. They don't even have a Halloween event. Keep that in mind. Cold War brought its Halloween event back. Vanguard doesn't even have a Halloween event. Just just let that sink in. All right, we gotta get hip fire kills easy. Oh, we got another pumpkin. Hey, mimic. I hate these guys. Get out of here. Another arcade token. Very nice. Very nice. Bro, right, can we actually complete this? Wow, we actually didn't get that to legendary. How the heck did that happen? That's depressing. All right, well, give me that. All right, we'll go back and start a new challenge. Hopefully, actually finish it this time. Kill zombies while crouched. Oh, I forgot about the, the scare packages. Now we got this boy papped. I'm going to be really upset if I don't complete this one either. Just saying. No way we don't get this one. No way. Okay, we got legendary. Good, good, good. All right, well, I'll just go ahead and head back then. Brain Rot's over here tearing them apart. Oh, my. And then he just blew up. Eps in the chat. But yeah, I love the Rampage Inducer. Very cool feature, allowing all the zombies to be psychotic and move really fast. All right, come on, Chris Lax. 
I just got a perk. Okay, meal cake. Well, that's not at all what I wanted. Guess we're going to be doing more challenges. Lever action shotgun, okay. Aim bot, let's go. Okay, we got blue, we got rare. All right, come on, give me legendary at the last second. Come on, just do it. Just do it, you know you want to. Come on, few seconds left, you can do it. Eh, okay, no. Let's grab PhD so we can have an absolutely absurd slide. Look at that slide. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. And it gets kills in the process. Oh my god. Cold War perks are busted. Ooh, Cryo Freeze. I'm gonna take that instead of Brain Rot. Alright, can we squeeze out the legendary reward in the last 30 seconds so I don't have to do an another challenge, please? Nope. Man, I feel like this whole entire... Oh, stupid Mimic. I feel like this whole dang map right now is just me trying to get this challenge for the Crystal Axe. I'm going to be really upset if I don't get it next time. Okay, boom. Kill zombies in location. Fuel processing. Is, isn't is that the... Uh, oh, no. That's right here. Okay. Good God. That G slide is ridiculous. And legendary. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and head out and go claim it. Yeah, I guess I, I... I forgot about Death Perception actually being a solid pick. I should have picked that up earlier. Come on, Crystal Axe. Nice. There it is. Very nice. This is easily one of my favorite uh, Wonder Weapons. This crap is insane. Cold War's Wonder Weapons were absolute psycho level. Like, some of the most ridiculous Wonder Weapons they've ever added were in this game. This and the Cerberus were so good. We'll do the Duraiz and Drac one. Because we love Duraiz and Drac. Okay, so you pretty much just have to kill zombies in this. Really, the only similarity for this game and Dryzendroc is the dragon. When I first saw this, like, first time I played the map, I thought I was actually going to be at Dryzendroc, which had me super hyped. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed. Just a little bit. So, give me that big fat loot. wonder where we're at exactly. Ooh, gold chest. Hello. Okay, well, whatever. Not the best loot. We'll get another arcade token, and then we'll play the Enduro game. And that'll be all the uh, arcade games in here. Actually, I forgot you could buy one. That's right. Let's go right into it. This one gives us a decent amount of points, if I remember correctly. We just have to actually get good. Okay, we're RC Car Gaming, so can we make the parkour? We gotta jump on this thing right here. Okay. Oh my god, I've already choked so hard. Okay, well, I'll get these. I'll get these. Easy. Bruh, I couldn't get that one? Alright, whatever. We're going back up. This is not going to plan. Oh my god, I tried to go way too fast. I'm actually garbage at this right now. Holy crap. Alright, I'm going back up. We're, we're gonna get them. Don't worry. I <laughs> Explain! My performance right now is an actual embarrassment to mankind. Holy crap. I cannot even get up there. What a tragedy. Whoa! But I made it from there. Alright, whatever. Uh, we're, we're, you know, just act like that didn't happen. We'll just cut that one from the video. What a disaster that was. Oh, abomination. Yeah, you're absolutely nothing compared to this overpowered wonder weapon. Well, actually, hold on. Have I upgraded this a second? I'll just upgrade this a second time. This thing really doesn't need any upgrades yet. Alright, I'll give that stupid RC car minigame one more try in a little bit. I can't believe I failed so epically at it. That was a disaster. Nether pumpkin. Hey! Whoa, I just yeeted that boy! It's like he knew what was gonna happen. He spawned and was trying to leave as fast as humanly possible, but it just... Oh my god, it's not fast enough. Okay, round two, electric boogaloo. Let's do this. God, I cannot suck as bad as I did last time. That was just an embarrassment. A few moments later. Come on, I want to get over here in time. What? I just... Sl All right. I slid backwards. God, I suck at that now. I'm... I promise. I used to be good at that. But now I'm absolute dog water. So go ahead and make fun of me in the comments. I know what's going to happen. Okay, um... I guess we'll go exfil now. I'll grab the scare package real quick. 
flamethrower, sure, why not? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so now we just kill some boys. No shot. Whoa, what the heck is happening? Alright, well that's out. Why is the abomination invisible? Is this part of the Halloween event update? Okay, everything's dead, so let's bounce. So yeah, that's the realm-based gaming. Let's go ahead and move on to the Halloween version of Outbreak. So this should be a little bit quicker. Okay, here we go. Loading into Spooky Outbreak. Got a new Halloween assault rifle on me. But yeah, Outbreak, pretty much just a big open zombies mode with some objectives. And this one in particular, we have 10 minutes to get these objectives done. So we got to rush for it. And we have a tank on this map, so I'm gonna use that and try to kill the Orta. So we're gonna... Do we have a vehicle beside us? No, we don't. All right, we're gonna run to my little marker. First, we're gonna pop this, then we're gonna run to my little marker, and we're gonna kill this this big Orta. The Orta is basically a boss zombie. Absolute beast. It's very hard to do unless you have the tank. So since we have the tank, we need to go up there and do that. And yes, we have a freaking tank in Call of Duty Zombies. Can you imagine? All right, back across the map. This is not going to be quick, I'll tell you that. Two hours later. Alright, Orda, I'm coming for you. Alright, time to die. Oh, yeah. It'll take a little while, but he'll go down. It's just going to be annoying when he starts regening his health. But yeah, you can kill him without... Oh, I missed. Great. You can kill him without the tank, but it is really annoying and quite difficult. Okay, I need to make sure he doesn't kill me. That would suck. This is some interesting Call of Duty Zombies gaming going on right now. You show this to somebody who hasn't played in a while and they truly will not know what's going on. Bruh, I really missed that. Come on. Why am I stuck? And he's regening his health like a little scumbag. Stop doing that. This man is such a dang tank. And I'm the one in the tank. Bruh, he keeps regening. Oh my god. Stop doing that. Just freaking fall over and die. Accept your death. Come on. We're almost there. There we go. He's dead. Holy crap. Oh my god. Alright. Decent loot. Decent loot. Bro, I just died immediately after... Okay. I swear, this mode is stressful. It really is. Alright, give me all that. My gun is absolute dumpster as well. Okay, whatever. Let's go actually finish the anomalies now. Plus, I need to buy some stuff. I got 16,000 and literally no perks. All right, you, sir, need to die. Wow, that does nothing to him. Incredible. Okay, uh, perks, perks, perks. Where are the freaking perks? There we go. Okay, give me, give me all this. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to pap this bad boy as well. I'm very happy we were able to kill the Orta. That is definitely a good thing. All right, I'm going to buy a self-revive as well. Okay, let's go ahead and go activate this anomaly real quick before time runs out. Alright, you guys need to back off. Good god, this mimic is just eating bullets. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Alright, we'll just chill by this beacon for a little while. I have not really gotten, like, any jack-o'-lantern drops, which is kind of a shame, because I would like to get a ray gun or something. Alright, eat rocket. That's probably trash. World grows harder. Uh-oh. Alright, we got a lot of points, though. I'm packing this again. Come on. Oh, Mangler, get out of here. Oh, my weapon is, is really struggling. I don't even really... I guess we'll do elemental pop. I don't really know what to do. Okay, we got, like, 30 seconds left on this. Then we're gonna have to head to the extract. But yeah, this crap could actually be a little... Maybe not difficult, but it can be hectic. That's for sure. Okay, uh, yeah, go for the decoy. Thank you. Alright, let's pick up this jack and Larry. Let's get that guy out of here. Holy crap, that's far. That's alright, though. We got this OP, PhD, and stamina up. We'll make it. God, that's like an apex slide right there. Alright, clear. Oh, yeah, it's only 18. Granted, some of them are bosses. Oh, we got the big old panzer. God, we have a lot of bosses here, actually. Hold up. Eat Ring of Fire. Oh, yeah. This is absolute seizure-inducing gameplay going on right now. That boy is jumping right on me. Smacking me in the mouth. 
What is happening? I think, yeah, well, all we have left are these stupid Tempest guys. Boom. Just like that, we're done. Get me out of here, boy! Okay, well, that's gonna be it for our little Cold War Zombies Halloween updates. Yeah, I had fun on both modes. I know a lot of people don't really care about Outbreak, and I will admit, I did not like it, like, at all when it first came out, but they've added enough to it to where it's become more enjoyable. Yeah, so this, like I said, is the beginning of Halloween content for the rest of the month, so expect much more Halloween stuff going forward. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to slap that like button and sub for more videos in the future. And... I'll see you guys in the next one.